Dun 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 Food chains and webs show the connections between different organisms based on what they eat. Here we have some algae, which is eaten by minnows, which are in turn eaten by largemouth bass. The interesting thing about these connections is that if you change one population, it can have indirect effects on the other connected populations. For instance, if you increase the largemouth bass population, they will eat more minnows, and fewer minnows means more algae. This indirect effect on the algae population by affecting the bass population is called a trophic cascade. Because changes in the higher trophic levels are causing the reduction in the lower trophic levels, it is called a top-down effect. In top-down effects, you usually find an alternating change. So an increase in one population is followed by a decrease in the next trophic level, and it usually continues to alternate till it reaches the lowest level. Indirect effects can also be transmitted up a food chain. If the primary producers in an area decrease, the herbivores that feed on that producer will usually decrease, followed by the carnivores. Notice that instead of the alternating increase-decrease of the downward cascade, you have a population decline or increase in the same direction as you go up the food chain. This is an example of a bottom-up effect. Another example of a bottom-up effect is toxin production. If you have toxin production in the base of your food chain, it can lead to changes in the higher trophic levels. The more poisonous your plants are, the more herbivore populations will decrease. This in turn reduces your predator population. However, there are ways for species to affect the movement of bottom-up effects. Can you think of how species might reduce or even eliminate these effects?